carbon is one of the most important element that is found all over the world and in every living thing. We human beings and animals and also plants require carbon directly or indirectly. Carbon is present in combined forms in a variety of substances that we come across in our day-to-day -day life. For example, the staple food that we consume, like rice, bread, potato, contains a rich source of carbon known as carbohydrates. The principal gas which plants use is known as carbon dioxide, which is again a gaseous form of carbon. Coal, it is a fossilized form of carbon and provides energy upon burning. You might be surprised to know that carbon in a crystalline form is present in the shiniest diamonds as well as in an amorphous form is present in the lead of pencils as graphite. Carbon is used in petrol to run our cars as well as carbon dioxide in fire extinguishers is used to control fire. But the earth contains a reserved form of carbon. That is, we are using carbon in our day-to-day -day lives, so the carbon reserve might have been finished by now, isn't it? But that is not so. The reason is, carbon is always recycled by a natural process, and this process is known as carbon cycle. So let us see some examples by which we can take up carbon from the atmosphere and also give back carbon back into the air. Firstly, trees and green plants take up carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. They use the carbon dioxide to synthesize their food, which is a sugar, again a carbon compound. So the herbivorous animals which consume plants directly are taking up the carbon stored in the plants directly. The carnivorous animals which consume smaller animals are also getting the carbon stored in the plants in an indirect way. So the herbivorous animals consume the carbon that is present in plants directly and the carnivorous animal receive that carbon indirectly from the smaller animals. The air that we breathe out is rich in carbon dioxide gas so in one way, we are returning the carbon back into the atmosphere. Now eventually, when all living organisms die, their dead bodies are decomposed and decayed and the carbon content in their body is transferred back to the earth. This process is known as decomposition. Now in some times, the decomposition process is not complete, that is, some amount of dead remains are stored in the form of fossil. So, the fossil and fossil fuel are also a rich source of carbon. Upon burning of wood and fossil fuel, we are returning back the carbon into the atmosphere in the form of carbon dioxide. Till now, we talked about terrestrial environment. Now, what about the aquatic environments? Well, in cooler region, the cool surface water of oceans and seas continuously absorb carbon dioxide from the atmosphere by the process of diffusion. This carbon dioxide in water might remain as it is or might be used up by marine plants by the process of photosynthesis or this carbon dioxide might be converted to carbonates and bicarbonates, which is a form of carbon. Now, there are certain microorganisms known as bacteria, which convert this carbonate into calcium bicarbonates. So, the calcium bicarbonate underneath water is used by oysters and corals to make their shell. Eventually, when these organisms die, the carbon content in their shell is decayed and decomposed back into the ocean floor. So, 
oceans have a dual behavior in cooler region the ocean water absorb carbon dioxide from the atmosphere but suppose in tropical region where the water is warmer in that time the carbon dioxide is released back from the water into the atmosphere this is how the carbon cycle is repeated so if we summarize the carbon cycle initially we see that the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere is taken up by plants by the process of photosynthesis also ocean water in cooler regions also take up carbon dioxide and the formation of fossil and fossil fuel return carbon into the earth then by the process of respiration plants and animals give up carbon dioxide in the atmosphere from warmer ocean water carbon dioxide is again released back into the air and upon burning of fossil fuel and wood like from automobile and factories emit carbon dioxide back into the atmosphere so this is how the entire cycle of carbon is repeated and we are never out of carbon preserved in our earth